Hello everybody and welcome to another video and today we've got something quite different, something quite interesting. Now I've had dwarven metal on here, I've had viking metal, I've had sort of tribal um, New Zealand metal, I've had all sorts on here but I've never heard nor knew of the existence of Roman metal. Yes. Today we're looking at a band called Ex Dio. It's a Canadian death metal band formed in 2008 in Montreal, Quebec. Uh, and the band is a side project of Cataclysm frontman Maurizio Iacona. And is based on the history of the Roman Empire. <coughs> so as I understand it, every song, every album is based on the Roman Empire. Uh, on February 17th, 2014, the band issued a statement um, declaring that the band would be put on an infinite hold, um, and a third album, however, was going to be unlikely. However, just one year later, on September 2015, uh, Maurizio announced that the band had ended their hiatus and were working on a new album, the third album, Immortal Wars, which was released in 2017. And it was teased that there might be a fourth album coming as well. But there isn't really much information I could find about them, and that's all I have. Um, so, yes, a Canadian death metal band based around the Roman Empire. Now, we're going to be looking at a track today called I Caligula, which comes off the album Caligula, which I believe was their second album. Um, I have no idea what to expect from this. The song is about seven minutes long. Um, and I do have the lyrics up here, so this should be interesting to see where this goes. Um, so um, let's have a look and see what we've got. So, Roman Metal from Ex Dio, track I Caligula. Let's have a look. Love you, Lord. 
big fear. There we go. I Caligula by X Dio. Now, <clears throat> they actually opened up in such a promising way, you know, musically. It was a brilliant piece of music, you know. Um, had very sort of orchestral feel in the music, you know. It has a, you know, very death metal, um, melodic death metal sound to the music. And vocally, you know, opened up with the actual we'll call it chorus, done in cool death metal growls, but then for the rest of the song, he was just, well, he was just shouting, and, I don't know, that that's, it wasn't great, um, you know, if, if there'd be more of sort of actual death metal singing, I think it would have been better, um, but anyway, the actual song itself, it's quite, it's quite clever, you know, it's not, brilliantly written, you know, it's not like insanely cleverly written, but, you know, the subject matter might make that hard. Now, the song opens up with, um, it's saying, On this glorious day, I declare Gaius Augustus Germanicus Emperor of Rome. Now, Caligula uh, became the Emperor of Rome on March 18th, 37 AD, which I actually showed at the beginning, it said Roma XXXVII which is 38. Um, his full name was Gaius Julius Caesar Augustus Germanicus. Uh, Caligula was actually a nickname, meaning Little Soldier's Boot, and he acquired this nickname because of the campaigns in Germany by Germanicus, his father. So there you go. Then the song actually opened up with the sort of death metal vocal chorus saying, I, Caligula, and God made flesh, thy rope around your neck, this is the will of the gods. I, Caligula, am master of all your fears, thy might colossal, these hands are drenched in blood. And then it went into the main part of the song, like I said, where it was more, he was more shouting, it was more like a declaration of this person rather than an actual song about this person. That's... But anyway... He goes, bow to me, you worthless swine, the sky will fall from grace. All these voices left unheard, dead and buried in my dominion. Um, whisper, whisper, whisper words of domination. I am life, I am death, your souls are left to waste. I am everything you need and all the things you fear. Whisper, whisper, whisper words of insanity. Now, I don't actually know that much about Caligula, Caligula, should I say, but he sounds like a pretty, um, pretty tyrannical leader. Um, 
I mean, he's like, I am life, I am death, your souls lead to waste, I am everything you need and all the things you fear. So, you know, he's like, I, I am literally everything, so you must listen to me, you must obey me, etc. It carries on. They killed my mother, they killed my father, who am I but the true face of Rome? Traitors will be crucified, their women and children thrown from the Tuppian rock. I thirst your blood, I want it all. Now, they killed my mother, they killed my father. Now, apparently, Caligula's father, Germanicus, as was briefly mentioned earlier, uh, abruptly became very ill and died in Egypt. And it's, I don't know why I said Egypt, but Egypt. Um, some, there are some claims that he was actually murdered um, by someone by the name of Tiberius. But, you know, I don't think that's ever actually been proven. Uh, and his mother, Agri Agrippina the Elder, was exiled to the island of Pandateria after being declared a public enemy of Rome and died of starvation in exile. So he believes that, you know, his parents were murdered in that respect. And then, you know, went on and said, traitors will be crucified, the women and children thrown from the Tarpian Rock. Now, the Tarpian Rock is a cliff at the top of um, Capitoline Hill, uh, which I believe is actually, a, despite being called a hill, I believe it's probably much, much taller than that. Uh, and it was used by Rome as an execution site where convicts and the like were literally thrown from this cliff to their death. So it was, it was literally their death sentence, you know, being thrown from Tarpian Rock. And he went, I thirst, for you, for, for, uh, I thirst your blood, I want it all. And then he went back into that um, chorus with the death metal vocals, I, Caligula, am God made flesh, thy rope around your neck, this is the will of the gods. I, Caligula, am master of all your fears, thy might colossal, these hands are drenched in blood. Kneel, kneel, kneel before me, kneel, 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 for I am God. So, there you go. Now, given that this whole album, that the album itself is called Caligula, I'm willing to bet it's a um, concept album, and the whole album tells a story, and this is possibly, you know, this is just the introduction of the Caligula character by the sounds of, oh, I say character, you know, you know what I mean. You know, so, and this, like I said, it's, it's the only track I've ever heard by this band so I need to I need to explore some more of their music because like I said there was this wasn't so much death metal vocals you know they're advertised as a death metal band but they didn't sound that death metal in their vocal execution musically yes uh, you know sort of melodic death metal however the vocal execution in this, you know, the chorus bit sounded really, really good, you know, with those sort of death metal graphs, but the rest of it, like I said, was more shouted than anything else. So, I'm going to have to investigate them again to sort of get a more rounded uh, picture of um, what they usually sound like. Because, you know, like um, I normally say, I don't like to draw conclusions on a band by only one example of their work. So, um, yes, it is very, very interesting. I'll give it that. Um... But at, at the moment, I'm not too sure about the vocal style. Musically, brilliant. But um, it's also very interesting to see a band covering the topic of ancient Rome. So, you know, so it's a new twist and it certainly makes them interesting. But, um, yeah, I think we'll leave that as that for the time being. Um, now, if anybody likes to suggest a track for me to react to, then please do so. By all means, you can drop a comment in the comment section below, or message me on my Facebook or my Instagram, or even message me through my Patreon, where you can also help to support this channel and help me create uh, future content and the like, maybe even improve um, the quality of the um, content. Uh, there is also an option on uh, my Patreon where you could uh, get your suggestion jumped to the front of the queue. Uh, there are a few provisos on that, however, uh, in order to be fair to um, other people uh, who might suggest tracks through regular means such as um, Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram comments. 
And if you do suggest a track through those regular means, do know that there is a possibility it will take me quite a while to get around to it, since I get suggested so many new tracks every single day that my list of tracks grows faster than I can record the videos. Um, but I do write down every suggestion I get, so it will get done eventually. It's just going to take me a while to get around to it, I'm afraid. Also, Metalhead Reacts is a proud supporter of the Sophie Lancaster Foundation, a British-based charity whose main goal is to put an end to hate crimes, mainly those aimed towards people of the alternative culture. It's something I believe in very, very strongly. Something I'm very, very passionate about because, you know, it's something I personally have been through. It's something that many of my friends have been through. It's something that members of my family have been through. And I know some people watching have also been through. And it's the fact that every single day, all around the world, people from the alternative culture are getting violently attacked just because of their taste in music. You know, and, you know, they're not just getting, you know, the odd sort of push, shove and name calling. No, these people are getting violently attacked. They're getting brutally beaten. You know, they're getting set upon by groups of people and beaten to within an inch of their life. And... The thing is, nothing is getting done about it. And this is something that needs to change. Because, because these people are getting violently attacked, brutally beaten, you know, sometimes they're getting hospitalised, having bones broken, you know, sometimes even more invasive injuries, like being stabbed or something. And nobody cares. And it's something that needs to change. You know, every day we hear about all these other hate crimes like sexism, racism, homophobia, transphobia, religious hatred, ableism, etc. We hear about these every single day in some form or other, you know. Whether it's the most heinous and violent of these crimes, like someone has been brutally murdered because of the colour of their skin or because of their religious choice or because of their sexual orientation, down to the most petty of these things where entitled Karen is phoning the police because a family of colour are having a picnic in a public space. We hear every facet of these crimes on a daily basis. But never do we hear of these people getting violently attacked, brutally beaten, hospitalised, seriously injured because of their taste in music. The last time we heard about this on a widespread scale was when Sophie Lancaster uh, was brutally attacked 12 years ago. It's probably closer to 13 years now. All right. Her and her boyfriend, Rob Malby, were minding their own business, walking home, and they were set upon by a group of people, five or six people, they were set upon, brutally beaten, kicked, stamped, punched, had their heads stamped on, so violently that both of them ended up in a coma. Now, Rob Meltby, he did thankfully survive. He came out of a coma after about a week or so, I can't remember exactly how long, but he survived. But Sophie Lancaster, she was in a coma for 13 days before she succumbed to her injuries. She was brutally beaten to death purely because of the fact that she listened to alternative music and wore alternative fashion. This girl was murdered. And this happened 12, 13 years ago. And that's the last time there was any widespread coverage of the fact that this happened. But I guarantee you, in the, in the years since that happened, hundreds if not thousands of people from the alternative community have been violently attacked in a similar fashion and we've just not heard anything about it and why because nobody has died and that is disgusting we shouldn't have to wait for someone's death before we speak about something like this before something gets done you know what happened to sophie lancaster can never be allowed to happen again it should never have happened in the first place, but nothing is getting done to prevent it from happening again. It's only a matter of time before another person is beaten to death just purely because of their taste in music. This is a real problem, and it's still going on daily around the world, and people just don't care, and that needs to change. 
And this is what the Sophie Lancaster Foundation is all about. They want to bring more attention to the fact that this is happening. They want to put a stop to this. They don't want to see another family go through what they went through when they had to watch their daughter slowly die over the course of two weeks. You know, and it's something I, I really strongly believe in because, like I said, I've been through it myself. You know, I've been cornered and beaten up by groups of people just because I had long hair, just because I wore a leather jacket, just because I listened to heavy metal. You know, my older brother has been violently... He was attacked with a baseball bat just because of his taste in music and the fact he had long hair and a leather jacket. My sister, who isn't even into alternative music, has been attacked and <clears throat> verbally abused for liking alternative music. And she's, she's not even a metalhead. You know. This is the sort of thing. It goes on on a daily basis. And, you know, it needs to stop. It needs to change. Something needs to be done. So, you know, I, th I think it's something that's worthwhile and something that definitely needs more attention bringing to it. So if you'd like to find out more about the Sophie Lancaster Foundation, there is a link to their website in the description below. You can go over there, find out what they're working on at the moment, find out what their end goal is, because they can explain it a lot better than I can, because I tend to go off on mad tangents and rants. Um, and if you can help them out in any way, obviously don't feel obligated to do so, but if you can help them out in any way, whether it's like a small donation through their website or even something like one of these Sophie wristbands off their web store, um, you know, the smallest amount can make the biggest difference. And the sooner we bring more attention to that, to the fact that this is happening, the sooner we get more people talking about this, the sooner we can bring more attention to it and help to stamp out um, prejudice, hatred and intolerance everywhere. I'm going to leave that as it is for the time being. Thank you all very, very much for watching, and I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.